Welcome to the man of Elite Cringes and we are back with Genshin Impact. I decided I'm gonna go try to finish Sumeru as fast as fucking possible and just go through that shit. I skipped the whole section because I was like, alright, this is the boring part where you and Daya decide to go in the desert to find help the Emirates. Emirates like, oh no, Daya, how dare you Daya, chop off Daya's arm? They're like, ah, oh, she's her resolve is good. She wanted us to chop off her arm. Damn you, Daya. Now I have to side with you. Alright, sure this guy's like, keep the, the Deshret cult, let's call him that. The Deshret cult is like, Oh yes, King Desheret betrayed by uh, Rukadovata. Ah, oh, that bitch. Ah, the, the, the green one's a bitch. A little green one is trapped in torture device. Uh, I don't know what who they mean is a bitch. I feel like slapping shit out of them, right? All right, moving on. Go into like this desert underground domain. Uh, find out that the, the person who helped King Desheret and buried him and then planted a whole bunch of flowers around his grave is the Rukadovata. And then he didn't even say sorry, even though the, the Nahida probably heard him. That is a summary. Without needing to listen to all of the bullshit, the distrust issues, the uh, we need to find that those people betrayed us, and we need to find them. Then there's an ambush, and I don't want to deal with these bitches. They're too weak to even fight me. And then all of a sudden, you're kicking those people's asses, right? Travel still gets his ass kicked. Uh, her ass kicked by a random group. Ah, <sighs> Genshin Impact. Oh. <sighs> don't tell me they did it again. I don't know how he told, I couldn't have done it. Right, look at this fine ass woman that took 200 pulls for me to get on at least to even have on this account. I don't think so. Yeah, I did 100 pulls on this. Fuck, I've got hiccups. I got a did 100 pulls on this account. I did 100 pulls on another account. Not one can. Many Jong Yuns! It comes into coughing, into burping. Thank you. Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. God damn. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please, wait a moment. What's the matter? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. I haven't done Lumine's voice in such a long time. It felt weird just hearing that voice. I, I, I don't look like a guy that's randomly gonna pull off such a high tone pitch, etc. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Which we're about to break out the, the Dendro Archon from a torture chamber. The isolation torture chamber. What 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 do you mean too reckless? <laughs> we're about to go to academia, beat ass. <laughs> and not the fun kind of ass beating. Sure, I'll try not to. If you look carefully at her hand, uh fingers are slightly crossed. <laughs> smart that little bit, smart. Okay. Should have looked down. For someone so perceptive, you have failed. You gain your powers from my boss. My boss is an idiot. Don't mind her. Son of a bitch. Kill him. Kill him. Kill me for life. Everyone's here so early. But why isn't anybody talking? They never talk. Sano doesn't talk. Aitham doesn't talk. And they are just falling asleep. We already discussed things a bit. With without us, so. God, you guys are dicks. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. I always miss you, Daya. It's a pity they fucked up your kid, otherwise I've always been playing you on my account. Problem is, they fucked up a kid completely. So every time I hit, and it does damage. Yes, it might be 9k, but it's a disappointing 9k. Are you ready? We can start now. Very well. After some discussion and debates, the group finally works a detailed plan sure together. This is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm. It's worth a try. Color. The color impressed. Hmm. I've never heard of this impress of color before. But I'm curious. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Alright, let's get into the plan. I think if I'm right, it's first... Oh, Ethan's part, we... He, he decodes the... Akasha? No? But it's cool. Forbidden knowledge? You're knowledge! Done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later! It's amazing how Daya's cute, but Candice is hot. It's, it's a strange concept, I don't know why. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. You guys show your audience sisters. What I wanted to hear. They even have the Take same care. shape in their eyes. I know they are in sisters, but are uh, they sure? Paimon, judging from your expressions, 
The meeting must have been quite productive. <sighs> Counterproductive. I'm not that good at scheming or strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. We'll make our move on the next day. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. <laughs> to be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. Look, my iteration of Lumine is kind of a dumbass. <laughs> she is kind of a dumbass. Aether is the Chad, but Lumine is the, the, the fine dumbass. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. Right, she probably wants to smash. <laughs> Paimon, you may want to evacuate, escape, run away. Your deeds speak for themselves. Candice, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. Didn't you just say don't be reckless? I said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. What if I don't want to be safe? Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. Thank you, Candice. Something that I realized, right? You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. And I said that when I was busy doing Fontaine. If Traveler M2 does not show up in Mondstadt or Leeway for a certain amount of time, do you really think Venti and Zhongli is gonna sit silent? <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Wendy Zhong Li and A would not sit silent, specifically for Sumeru in the academia, because Fontaine is a distance away from all three, specifically in Azuma. But Sumeru is right there. All I'm saying is the academia would turn the fuck around. <laughs> because <laughs> you don't want Zhong Li communicating with your mountains, man. Fenty will have the air suffocating you. It will be like the movie The Happening where the trees are trying to kill you via the release of oxygen that causes people's emotions to fluctuate and kill themselves. That movie was weird. Good luck with everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Why do you sound like you're about to cry? Why do you sound like we about to die? That's the dude. That's the dude. That's the leader of the Desheret cults. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. To kick ass and take names, we may have to risk a foot. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. You need to clench your butt cheeks and shout plus ultra. I hope this is clear to you. I understand and accept. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Him being realistic is boosting our morale. Didn't we already do that during the meeting? Yeah, we were all gung ho, letting Daya do all the cheering up while you two were sitting there. You were reading, and Seno is just. Seno's. I didn't think Senna to be a funny dude. He came off as serious until that event. And then it just it didn't make sense to me at all. And I really didn't like Senna. That didn't make me like him more. Now he's complete 180 turn of a character. Okay. So a lot of people love it. I I I I, I don't. Sorry man, it's cool and all. But they could have at least alluded to the fact that he's at his uh Mischievous, <laughs> a jokester, a funny guy. No, no, not even in his own quest is he so called a funny guy. <sighs> you can never have enough words of encouragement. Was Amantine on his side? Fuck, so no. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. Well, when I say uh, <laughs> the fact that Tainari and Seno might have actually banged. I don't know. I don't know. The way people go on is like it actually happened. We all have our jobs to do after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Hmm, makes sense. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, 
You don't look anything like a soldier. But he can kick ass. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But you can kick ass. That muscles weren't for sure. When you have muscles larger than Ito, you win. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! Being a scholar is a high-risk occupation. Isn't the whole reason why Ethan is a scholar because he doesn't want a high-risk occupation? I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. I am a genius! This guy. Huh. Paimon still remembers when those mercenaries and poor Ormos called you a lunatic! <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, he, at least we know he's an, some sort of artist or writer. Well, he is the scribe. Maybe that's why he's he got these three fingers open while his, his pinky and his ring finger are covered. Hmm. That reminds me. Mm. The record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Sorry, I don't remember anymore. Wait. Seriously? <laughs> remember? We went into the desert not long ago to exchange hostages with the Aramites. Once we arrived, the ground collapsed due to an earthquake and we fell into some ruins. Hmm? Still nothing? Nope, nothing. Don't remember. Come on. <laughs> it was a remnant of King Deshret's bygone civilization, and we found some messages left by a priest of the king, and learned about the existence of forbidden knowledge. Not ringing a bell. Oh, it's all coming back now! Thanks for reminding us. Speak for yourself, Paimon. I don't the fuck we talking about. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. knowledge. But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. So, if you were gods, you could have all the knowledge you want. You can connect everybody's minds into one being and thus have hive mind. Well, semi hive mind, because usually hive mind is controlled as, as, a, as a singularity. They control as a single being. There's many beings, one being. There's not many beings, there's many many bodies but it's all one being right that would be a hive mind semi hive mind is something attached to everybody's minds not controlling everything right come to think of it perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction the withering elazar and the sandstorms don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? Still doesn't ring a bell. Definitely possible though. Another occurrence of forbidden knowledge pollution. You mean cancer, right? Forest cancer. There's no forest in the desert, but it's still forest cancer. Desert forest cancer. Oasis cancer. But Paimon thought that Ermansoul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least... That's what Tainari told us. Tainari might not have all the information. Wait a second. Could it be that... Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. So Soul is like, all right, this knowledge does not compute. It's time to use uh, virus, uh, antivirus maneuvers to get rid of the virus. Oh wait, antivirus isn't working. Need to upgrade antivirus, shutting down. That's also what Ermansoul is doing. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! Wait, why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? Right. Oh. She's saying the key to saving Ermansoul is contained within the remaining conscience of Greater Lord Rukadavata. You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? No, 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 that was just because I was on drugs. Hmm. In that case, 
It's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. That's right. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. To the Aramites! We ride! How can I be sure that you're bringing me as not some sort of assassination attempt? And I'm all like, hey! He might not be wrong. I cannot help but feel that you bringing me here is some sort of an assassination attempt. You'll be fine. I'm busy trying to collect as many Prime Gems on this account because I won Furina. I got a guarantee for Furina on the second account. But there is so much content on this account that I, I have a guaranteed Furina budget to everything. I have a guaranteed Furina and possibly a weapon budget to everything. I did this area here, the Lokapala jungle. Lokapala jungle. Now I'm sorting out a video forest. It will just move down over the night as the game goes by. The only issue is I need to do the underground section here and the underground section here and the underground section here. There's another underground section somewhere here. Da have I even finished the chasm? 82%. Okay, I think that that's pretty fine in my opinion. Do the the biggest tedious part about having a second account is having to do the story all from over for a person fresh in the game that's pretty fun no not if you're playing for a second time fuck no this game needs a uh, a skip function uh, where they don't they they don't force you to listen to every single word spoken in the game right I would like a skip function or fast forward function because I read faster than the characters talk. I would still listen to the characters at first, but if I have to go on a second account and do a quest a second time, I would like to skip, please. Man, even commissions now you can't just press the button. If I'm right, in version 1.1, it didn't matter what it was, you could skip. There was a lesser time between then and now where they delay the skip button of what they're saying. For Tui, close to our Edomite base. Perhaps I should perform assassination attempt from this guy. Order guide you. I need to finish guiding you small one of these days. Ah, they're here. Nerds! No, the Lord! No! I gave them some technical work to do. So whenever you see another nerd, if you don't shout like that, then you're not a nerd. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? Yes, I am the legendary traveler. How's the work going? You're forgetting the legendary part. Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Extracting knowledge! Look here. Uh, huh? M more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into her head again? Oh no! Oh, Slimey gave me can knowledge! It was off. Uh, it scares me. What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Yes! Paimon's a little scared, but... Very, very furious! Hmm. That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with, Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Huh? Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? What I, what I may lack in faith, I'll make up with my actions. Uh, uh, first and last mistake. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. Traveler puts it on ahead and focus. I never hit them with the first mistake. I only eat them with the lost. I understand, but trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. 
it's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Brainwash yourself into believing you can do it. Hmm. Hyman can see the point you're trying to make. I'm ready. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. I have a better way of putting this. You are beating Azar, the leader of the Academia's ass. You are kicking his ass. You are punching him in the face with the last mistake and you are not stopping. He's bleeding. His teeth is on the ground. His nose is fractured. His eyes are swollen. But you won't stop punching. Nahid is cheering you on in the background. Everything's going great. Paimon starts screaming that you're killing him. Paya, you say, yes, I'm killing him. That is what you've got to do. This is what you've got to remember. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Everything went without a hitch. And everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. You didn't kill him. In fact, you strung him up by his underwear because he was a no. Now, open your eyes. Ah, that was relaxing. Very relaxing. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. Some stirring words have been written on the note. Although you do not quite understand the purpose of the recording, you still follow Ethan for the sake of it. What a fascinating experience! I'm so happy I got to kick Azara's ass! Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I'm fine. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But, what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it! Didn't we discuss this in the plan? Bro, it, but maybe this is why Lumin doesn't remember. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. They are slaves to the Akasha, just like we are slaves to our Samsung and iPhone devices. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. And this device has always supported you during times of need. You are getting very close to the nail of the head that is a phone. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? A slave to your phone. Uh, a fool? A machine? No, Paimon. A human. A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Gray areas? Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? Look for a rainbow, I guess. You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. The sentence fit in too well <laughs> with the gray areas. <laughs> with the gray zones. Under the rain. <laughs> Very interesting. Ambiguous. Right hands. <laughs> Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? I don't know. I don't remember what we're doing in the last five minutes. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. Who? You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Uh. Where? Small projects? We're going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Gonna mod the terminal, mod the terminal, mod the terminal, mod the terminal. Am I gonna run there or am I gonna teleport there? Just teleport. I'll travel from here. I have a better way of putting this. You are beating Azar, the leader of the Academia's ass. You are kicking his ass. You are punching him in the face with the last mistake and you are not stopping. He's bleeding. His teeth is on the ground. His nose is fractured. His eyes are swollen. But you won't stop punching. Nahid is cheering you on in the background. Everything's going great. Paimon starts screaming that you're killing him. Paya, you say, yes, I'm killing him. That is what you've got to do. This is what you've got to remember. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it.